Hey guys, it's Landon from Redefined Horizons, and in this video I want to teach you a little bit about resolved boundary drawings. So, if you watch some of my other videos, you know that um, at, at Redefined Horizons we work with what we call a set of base drawings, and then we, we have essentially what we call sheet drawings, that's our work products, and we XREF in our base drawings into our our sheet drawings so we have usually we have a line work drawing and then we have what we call an annotation drawing that has symbols and hatch and text and labels it's kind of scale dependent stuff um, and that we're working the kinks out of that system but it works really good for us and so and then and the line work drawings and the anno drawings get x ref'd into the sheet drawings and that's how we make our work products and it allows us to share some data and, and keeps you know helps us with some data integrity and uh, makes us a little more efficient in theory. So uh, what I wanted to do in this video, I, I thought I had done some more videos on resolved bound, boundary drawings, but I haven't. Uh, so I want to I want to do some. So um, I know I, I did do a video that talked about how you convert a search drawing into a resolved boundary drawing. I'm not sure if that's posted yet, but uh, what I wanted to do is in this video is just clean up a a, a resolved boundary drawing that we have uh, on a project we did in, in uh, rural San Joaquin County, south of Manteca. It was a little, I can't remember if it's a five acre, little eight acre pasture that we uh, that we surveyed. And so I wanted to just to show you guys how we kind of clean this up. So, you know, like a lot of companies, we have our housekeeping challenges um, in CAD. <laughs> we keep a pretty clean office, but we have some CAD housekeeping challenges and you know, sometimes you're you're in a project and you're up against a deadline and you're rushing to get stuff done and things don't always get cleaned up like they should. So uh, we try not to do that, but it happens sometimes. And you know, we're, we're trying to get better about going back in after uh, you know maybe we've made an initial delivery and cleaning up some of our files. And so this is a resolved boundary drawing that we did for that uh, pasture in uh, South of Manteca, and it needs some cleanup. So I want to go through with you guys some of the things that we need to do here. And I'm running BricsCAD. It doesn't always like my screen recording software, so I'm not sure how this is going to work, but we'll try it. So um, the very first thing uh, that we want to do is uh, we shouldn't have any text or symbols in our line work drawing. So this is uh, this is going to be our boundary line work drawing, and then we'll do an we'll do an anno drawing. I'm, I'll do a separate video on the anno drawing. So we want to make sure in our system that those two drawings are kept clean, that the line work drawing is, it doesn't have any anno elements and that the anno drawing doesn't have any line work elements. So the first thing we're going to do, you can see we've got some labels in here. Um, we're, we need to get rid of those. They shouldn't be in here. So we're going to uh, select all those labels and we're just going to get rid of them. Okay. So we don't have any labels now. These are points. And um, it's okay to have points in the line work drawing. That's all right. They're usually frozen, uh, but but it's okay to have them in there. Uh, as a general rule, though, in the boundary drawing, we don't want to have any topo points. And these are not topo points. These are all uh, these are all uh, boundary points. Um, so what we want to do is uh, we just want to freeze those because we shouldn't be seeing them. And then uh, now we may. We may actually need to look at these when we go in and do our anno drawing because we're going to have some symbols and some call-outs on our monuments, but we don't need to see them in this drawing, so we're just going to freeze them. Okay, and that should just basically be the default state. They should be frozen. So when you open a line work drawing at my shop, all you should see is a line work. Now, the next thing we want to do in this cleanup is we want to make sure all our lines are on the right layer, So, and they're not. They're all dorked up. So, And that, I think this is my fault because I may even have been the the team member here that did this line work drawing. So uh, we've got this layer here that's uh, called uh, the subject parcel fee, okay? And uh, that should should uh, outline our, our subject parcel, and uh, it does not. So you can see we've actually got this on the wrong layer. This is on the uh, right-of-way layer, so that's the wrong layer. So let's go ahead, let's start with the subject parcel layer. So we're going to go ahead and say that's the subject parcel layer. Now, in this case, this is county, so the, uh, the, in this particular county, the road right away is almost always held as an easement, so my subject parcel actually goes to the center line of the road. So that's okay, but you notice this, this 
this is not our subject parcel. This is uh, this is that adjacent piece of the right of way center line. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on the right of way center line layer. Okay, and then we want to do the same thing up here. Okay, and then we have the right of way side lines. Those are on the correct layer. I can just tell by the color and the line type. Now. The other layer we have is we have a layer that we put the adjoiner uh, parcels on. And so uh, we want to go ahead and do that. And right now these are on the tie layer, okay, which is not, which is not correct. So we want those to be on the, uh, on the adjoiner parcel layer, which I don't have in this drawing yet. So let's go ahead and create that layer. Okay, and I'm just going to reuse depth points because I hate depth points. So we're going to be on survey, boundary, lines, adjoiner, parcel. Okay, and uh, I apologize because I don't know what color that's supposed to be. So for now I'm going to just make it a, a color that doesn't plot properly so it'll get fixed. And I also don't know what line type I need to be using so I'm going to leave it continuous for now. And we'll, we'll clean that up. Okay, so these, this is actually one of my adjoiner parcels. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the uh, that layer, uh, which I've got set to non-plottable. That's not what I want. Now, I actually moved these these pieces over to this the center line, but because uh, this county road right away is a, an easement, uh, those actually need to go on the adjoiner parcels. So let's do that. Now, you may wonder why I don't have an adjoiner parcel here and it's because this is the, the Stanislaus River and there is a levee there but uh, you know I, we didn't map the water side of the, of the levee parcel um, it's messy and it wasn't necessary for what we're doing so uh, this is the only adjo adjoiner parcel work line work that we need now uh, you could go in and, and put um, there's a there's you know if there were parcels on the other side of the road here you might put in um, some some sidelines there. I'll just give you an example. You might have a line coming in like this. You know, that's a sideline. Um, you got to be careful. So if, if that's not survey grade, we would actually put that on the GIS parcel layer. Um, but sometimes, you know, if you, if you got an input record and you're fairly confident in it, or you, you've actually resolved it, uh, you can put that on the adjoiner layer. But in this case, um, there's a a big parcel all, all the way on the other side of my road here. So. I actually don't have an adjoiner sideline there. Okay. Now what I could do down here, just to make this a little cleaner, is uh, I could create this other sideline here. Uh, just to, I like to extend my line work just a little bit past my subject parcel boundary. <clears throat> and uh, we can do a little trim here. Okay. And then everything else now is going to be on the tie line layer. Uh, until you get up here, and then we've got our, our right-of-way sidelines and, and our right-of-way center line. Let's make sure these are on the right-of-way center line. Yeah. So these probably need to be flattened. That might be why I'm not getting my dashes. So let's see. Yeah, Do these have a Z? They don't have a Z. Hmm. So I'm not sure. Oh, line type scale should be one. All right, now I'm getting my dashes. So uh, these are all on the tile layers because um, they're they're running along some parcel lines, but they're not our subject parcel or a joiner. So I just I have them on a tile layer, and we we really don't need that straggler. So you might, you might be wondering, well, why the heck do we even have these in here if our survey's down here? Well, the answer is there weren't any monuments set here, but there were a couple monuments set here on this really old subdivision map that kind of tied into our parcel. And so we went up and looked for a couple of those. And so you can see we actually found some points. Uh, we found some points up here. So we didn't find anything here or here. Um, but we did we did find a couple monuments. We found one here and here. Okay, I'm actually going to delete that because I want to know where those search points were. Um, but we did we did find a couple mons here. They they didn't fit great, but they fit within a foot or two, um, which for the for the old subdivision map we were on was pretty good. 
we found one here that fit really good that was less than a couple tenths okay so I, I'm gonna leave those on there now I didn't find a monument here and and uh, we didn't look for one so I don't really need this tie line same thing here with these uh, because we didn't look for anything or find anything uh, they really don't need to be in the drawing and okay, I will break this here now that's a that's just a judgment call you need to make uh, but in this case, for this survey, these lines weren't important, and uh, so I'm going to get rid of them. But I do want to hold this record tie uh, because I'm basically comparing how these found mons fit to record measurements, and they fit pretty good, and, and we're going to show that in our resolved boundary drawing. Okay. Now, you can see when I fought all my layers uh, that I also got some fence points here. These should really be in the topo drawing, and I believe I've already moved them there. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of them. They shouldn't be in the boundary line we're drawing. Okay. And these looks like these are on layer 0. Nope, they're on the right layer. They're on boundary search. So those are on the right layer. Uh, this is our control. Okay, Don't need the control in the line we're drawing either. That goes in our field drawing normally. Okay. Alright, so then I'm just going to freeze those two points layer, two point layers and uh, we're basically done. So this is clean now, other than I need to go in for my CAD standards, and I need to make sure that my uh, line types and colors for my layers match our CAD standards here. I'm not going to make you guys watch me do that. But then we'll basically have a clean line work drawing, and the next step in this process will be to create our anode drawing that's going to go on top of this, and then we'll, we'll do a sheet drawing. Um, and so every survey at my office should have a resolved boundary sheet drawing that you could print out. It's a 24 by 36 inch sheet. It's kind of like an internal record of survey. Sometimes we might show things on that that we wouldn't show on the record of survey. So in this case, I actually have a record of survey, uh, but I may not go up and show my ties to these two points. Um, I got to think about that, maybe have some conversations with the county surveyor. My record of survey is probably just going to focus down here, but internally, I want to know for our records that we went up and found those monuments. Uh, technically, by the letter of the law in California, you need to show every monument you find in your survey, so I'll need to evaluate if I think those are uh, the actual monuments uh, that match the record description, and I may need to show those. Um, i got to think about that. Um, anyways, the point of that conversation is our internal resolved boundary drawing may show more in some situations than we show on a, on a record survey or a parcel map. We try to get as much information we can on the filed map, the map that gets filed, but we don't always do that, it just depends. Um, sometimes there's some edge cases where that might not happen. So there, but all the information should, in my brain about this boundary should definitely get captured in our internal uh, result boundary drawing. And so we'll, we'll do that. We'll, we're going to work on the anode drawing in another video and then we'll do a quick, uh, quick video on laying out the resolved boundary drawing sheet. So I'm over. I'm almost four minutes over. I like to keep these videos to 10 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. You kind of have an idea now what a resolved boundary line we're drawing looks like here at Redefine Horizons. We'll do another video and we'll, we'll get the anode drawing done for this. I think it'll start making a lot more sense uh, when you guys get to see the anode drawing. So thanks for watching.